Hey there! In today's video we are going to create a fingerprints texture map which you can then use as roughness map in Blender Cycles, Eevee or any other render engine to add some detail to your materials. To follow this tutorial all you need is a phone or a camera, a stamp pad, a sheet of paper and some fingers. First we are going to take the sheet of paper and add a bunch of fingerprints to it. Next, we're gonna hang it up on a wall or so. Then, we're gonna set up our camera or smartphone and make a photo of the paper. If you want to, you can use a tripod or anything else to stabilize your camera so you'll get a sharper image. I also recommend setting up your camera settings manually so you can choose the lowest ISO possible and the longer exposure time to make sure there won't be any noise in the image. After we shot the image, we're going to import it to an image editing software. You can either use Affinity Photo, Krita, Photoshop or Gimp, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use Gimp in this tutorial because it is free. So first, we need to crop out the square selection of the image, which you can do using the crop tool. To make it perfectly square, we're going to enable fixed aspect ratio and choose an aspect ratio of 1 by 1. Then we're going to make it grayscale, which you can do by going to image, mode, grayscale. Now if we would use this image as a roughness map in 3D software, the fingerprints would be less rough, which means they'd have sharper reflections, and the surrounding areas would be more rough, which means they'd have smoother reflections. It obviously should be the other way around, so we need to invert the image, which you can do by going to Colors, Invert. Next, we're gonna adjust the levels of the image, so the darkest pixels of the image are black and the brightest pixels are fully white. Then, in order to make the texture map tileable, we're gonna add a Make Seamless filter, which you can do under Filters, Map, Make Seamless. Next, we're gonna export the image by pressing Ctrl E and save it as a PNG file. Once you exported it, you can use it as a roughness map in Blender, for instance for a gloss or a metallic shader. I really hope you've learned something new and enjoyed watching this video. If you did so, please check out cgbookcase.com, my website where you can download free textures. Next week I'll publish 10 new wood textures, so make sure you don't miss them. See you next time.